Today we're going to answer a question posted by uh, Planet Patrick, and he asks, how do you put Linux on a phone? Please tell me. And I'm going to answer that question. Uh, it's very simple if the phone is designed to allow you to install Linux on it. Many phones nowadays are running Linux, um, but they won't necessarily let you install a true version of Linux. Linux is capable of running on them but the hardware manufacturers restrict you from being able to flash them and install Linux on them. But we're going to look today at the OpenMoco FreeRunner, which is the world's first true open source phone. Uh, not only is the software open source, but the hardware is open source too. On the website they give you blueprints on how to take apart the phone and look at the circuit board and everything like that. Um, it is very easy to flash because it's designed to install Linux on. It comes with an open source Linux on there, the OpenMoco operating system but there's many distributions out there that are designed for the phone, many of them Debian-based. So when you install them, you have a true Debian-based install where you have all your applications in your package manager that you do on your desktop. And um, that's what we're going to do today is we're going to flash it uh, with the OpenMoco operating system. Now there's uh, three ways to install Linux. This is one of the ways, uh, and we're going to be installing to the internal flash because you can also boot off an SD card on this device. Uh, which I will show you in a future video. We're going to go to the openmoco.org uh, website, brings you to this wiki site, and we can click download. Now we have here uh, a list of uh, operating systems we can install versions of OpenMoco. So we have OpenMoco 2009 is the newest currently. So even though you have OpenMoco on the phone when you get it, it may not be the newest version. So we're going to upgrade it today. I'm going to go OpenMoco 2009. We'll click here and it gives you a list of files that you need to download. And really, there's only two in here that you need to download the uh, uImage bin, which is our kernel. It's about two megabytes. And then this um, JFFS2 file, which is our root file system, which is currently 88 megabytes. So download those. Obviously, the 88 meg one will take a little bit longer and will also take longer to install to the phone. But uh, once you have those installed, we're going to use a tool called, uh, once you have those downloaded, we have a tool installed that's called uh, dfu-util, which if you're running uh, Ubuntu is in the repositories. If not, you can download it from the OpenMoco site. Uh, it's a very useful tool, not just for the free runner, but for flashing other devices through USB. We have to run this command as sudo. And the command we're going to run if we're going to flash the kernel first, we're going to go dash A, kernel, and then we're going to go dash capital R, dash capital D, and then we'll do our kernel image, which is the dot bin image, which is, in this case, U image, the kernel version, blah, blah, blah. So that's just the name of the file we just downloaded. Now I'm going to start up a video so you can see the process of turning on the phone and getting it ready to flash. So I've got the free runner hooked up to my computer through USB. Now I'm going to take it and you have your auxiliary button up here in the top left and your power button down here on the bottom right. So I'm going to hold down the auxiliary button and then hold down the power button until it turns on and I got my little bootloader window or uh, menu. Now you can see you can hold down select, tap select and it goes through all your menu options. Right now it doesn't matter which one we're on. And all we're going to do is run the command on the screen. And once that's run, you'll see uh, the message changes here. You can see we got a new little message up on the screen. And uh, basically that's telling us that we're uh, updating our kernel here. Uh, and when the progress bar is done on the screen, uh, we know we're done. And we can go on to uh, flashing the root file system. And. Uh, that's how you flash the kernel. So we flash the kernel. It tells you here you're finished. This is the progress bar I was talking about. Uh, and flashing the kernel uh, goes pretty fast because it's just about two megabytes. So now we're going. I'm going to show you how to flash the uh, root file system, which takes a lot longer. Uh, installing it through USB because it's um, it's 88 megabytes. Um, but we type in a similar command sudo. Um, dash a da, uh, root file system so root fs capital r capital d and the name of our uh, root file system image which is 
FSO, and we'll hit tab there. So it's the JFFS2 file. Same thing, you turn on the phone hitting auxiliary and power till you get your uh, boot window there, or, uh, menu. And we hit enter. And what did I type wrong? Uh, oh, <laughs> sudo uh, dfu dash util, then the other commands dash a root uh, fs, capital R, capital D in the image. And oh, my phone turned off. See, I'm just making mistakes like crazy, but that's good so you don't feel bad when you're messing up doing this. Okay, I have the, food, the, the phone on to the boot menu. I'm gonna type this command uh, as uh, sudo, hit enter, and it starts going just as it did when we flashed the kernel. Only this is gonna take a lot longer. Uh, like I said earlier, 88 megabytes through USB. Uh, I'm gonna guess 20 minutes to a half an hour to flash this. Um, and that's one of the drawbacks of installing through USB to the uh, internal uh, flash memory. But depending on your distribution that you're installing, you may or may not have to do it this way. You can see we just finally got one little step in the progress bar. But you let that get going. And uh, when it's done, uh, you're going to get, you'll see this. Once you're done uh, flashing your, uh, your free runner, if you're still in your menu here, you can go down to Reboot, and we'll click Reboot by pressing the power button. And we'll give it a second to reboot here. You'll get your OpenMoco uh, logo there. And we should start getting a Linux boot in here in a second. There we go. Linux is booting. So that's how you flash both the, uh, the kernel and the root file system. Uh, but I'm going to show you one problem you might come into. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to run that same exact command that we just ran. And you can see we got an error. And it's saying that there's more than one DFU compatible USB device found. Uh, you might try running this, this command. That just gives you an output of all your devices. Um, and I came across this the other day when I was trying to do this. And it turns out that I had... Uh, my uh, USB Bluetooth dongle installed. So uh, I guess it's capable of flashing the, uh, the f files on my USB uh, Bluetooth device. Simply just unplug any USB device that's, that you're not flashing uh, that, that might be causing that message. Once it's installed, just run the command again and it will start going again. Um, so that's just one little problem you might come across. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Uh, visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.